Hi everyone. Well, it's Friday night and um, I think it's time for another wine diary. I could be wrong, but this bottle of wine sitting next to me. Yeah, I got my uh, my wine glass here. Yoga class. I thought you said pour a glass. Yeah, I think it's time for a wine diary. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries, my favorite series and this whole thing. Oh my gosh, I just love it that you guys spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you would hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today, it's Friday. It's late. I work late tonight. And um, it's about 12 o'clock. And in the last night, I know this is off, to off topic, but you know I do that sometimes. You know how I've been reading this book. And I've been trying to get back into it, but I was... I was on, you know, you, you work these long hours, 10, 11, 12 hour days, and then you sit down to eat and then you want to try to get a couple of hours of YouTube done and watch people's videos and comment and comment on your own videos. And so my goal was last year, I was going to stop, um, sign out of YouTube and whatever by 1130 and just try to read a book and unwind and it worked for a little bit. And then I got sick and then I just kind of lost interest in reading and getting back into it was really, really hard. And I finished that book 56 days a couple of months ago. Love that book. Started another one, but it was like, it was like 1230 when I'd get off YouTube and I'd say, oh, I want to read before I go to sleep. But I'd read in a few paragraphs later, I was sound asleep. So this last week, I put myself back on that strict thing, getting off YouTube by 1130 and trying to read a little bit every night. And, oh my gosh, last night, I did not want to put the book down. It was like, oh, I maybe had another 50, 60 pages to go. And it was like it getting really interesting. And I did not want to put the book down. I was up to like 3 o'clock last night reading. And I finished the book. It was so, so good. So this one was Lucy Foley, The Guest List. Oh my gosh, I love this book. I mean, I'm not going to say it was a 5, but it was definitely a four for me um yeah it was really really good i finished it i'm so excited that i finished it but uh, kind of scared because i'm not going to pick another book to read and what happens if it isn't good as this one and ah uh, but it was really good i finished it i'm so excited that i did um and just getting extra rest getting off um, the computer and stuff is really, it's really important. I mean, you think, yeah, I, I want to get caught up and I want to watch, okay, so I'll watch one more video, one more video. I got to do another video or this person commented on me, so I want to comment on one of theirs. And it just, and it, it's really kind of like never ending sometimes that you just, it's hard, it's hard to shut it off because I don't want people to think that I don't care about them, but it, it's just really hard to try to work and keep up with it. But I am loving YouTube. I'm loving you guys so much, but I really enjoyed a couple hours reading here and there. Really good. But anyway, we are here for Wine Diaries. I love Wine Diaries. So when I got that, I did a Wine Diary last week and I had uh, some wine from Wine Haven. And I had got some more bottles from them because I wanted to get that discount and whatever. And I've always been drawn to the sweeter wines. I've said that before. But I wanted to try a white wine of theirs that was a drier one. And it's a Lakeside Chardonnay. This one's from 2017. And this is a 2021 double gold medal wine winner at the International Wine, uh, I don't know what to call it, Festival Championship in California. So double gold. So I had to try this one. So I know I've had Chardonnay before, like when I've gone over people's houses. So we've been out to a restaurant and with a group of people and they'll buy wine for something for the table. And like I said, I was into the 
the sweeter wine so I never really gave these dry wines a try so I'm excited to be trying this and I know the Chardonnay would probably go better with like a poultry dish or fish or something like that maybe even like a little Thai food but I was in the mood for salad so I've got a spinach salad so it's got onions in here and it's got some peppers in here it's got mushrooms that I may or may not eat I, I picked up one cherry tomato which I may I don't know if I can swallow that whole no I can't I, I can't cut it because I can't see I, I just the crap that comes out of the tomato when you cut it that oh my god that just freaks me out it's like looking at birds or something yeah so I, I may or may not try to eat that but I love the onions the peppers the not sure of the mushrooms I've got a honey mustard dressing on this it's gonna be so good it's spinach leaves sounds healthy and that's what we're gonna have with our Chardonnay rind for my dinner tonight oh, so anyway again so this is the Chardonnay wine I'm sure on the back if this focuses it'll tell us a little bit about Winehaven and how they're in the Chisago Lakes area region and it's a family-owned business and I mean they started out just uh, basically as a hobby um, they had uh, um, they had some wines um, grape vines and they had they do the honey bees and things like that and so they made their own honey and mixed them oh my gosh it was so great and you know we just kind of found them out of you know they weren't advertising anywhere it was just a really small kind of section like a shed off their garage or something and uh, a few years later they um expanded and they made like a pole building on their property and that was where the shop was and things like that and then they had to expand that and now they've got this gorgeous gorgeous building where they host weddings and banquets and all kinds of festivals and yoga things and the painting and whatever all kinds of things but every weekend they've got something going on but anyway we're here for this so and again I've never really been into the dry wines but I've been experimenting going out of my comfort zone and over this past winter I've had you know a couple of different ones and I really enjoy um, tasting these and figuring out the flavors and just the sipping and just relaxing with it and yeah so anyway I've got my yoga class I thought you said pour a glass which is right here too so I don't think there's too many I don't know what kinds of fruits they would use in here but I know they usually it's aged in oak barrel so you're going to have the tannins from the grape skins and the stems and the oak um, barrels you're going to have that texture um, I know it's usually kind of smooth but dry so cheers everyone happy Friday I'm picking up vanilla but I think that's I think that's other than you know smelling wine that's really the only scent I can pick up is is a vanilla so anyway cheers this is I mean you taste the tannins right away um, you can feel it up against the top of your palate the oak and tannins but it's thick it's rich it's um it's like rich like buttery and soft and smooth and you still taste you know the the wine of course but just a smooth vanilla texture this is I, I didn't think I liked Chardonnay but surprise I like the Chardonnay well of course I kind of hoped I would because you know I bought it but anyway I have another sip yeah I don't know if there's any roots in here but I'm not picking up anything um um this is like some acidity to it um but not from fruits maybe it's just the grapes itself that kind of lends that kind of acidity back here I mean my mouth isn't watering like crazy but you kind of taste um like this the acidity to it so that just must be the grapes not anything added that I can think of it's got a tartness to it but I can't pinpoint any fruits from it so it just has to be the grapes and the vanilla and the the, the oak barrels how it, they aged it 
but anyway that was really good so anyway looking forward to sitting and relaxing with my salad with my one tomato that I may or may not eat yeah I know, I know it's kind of weird but anyway it's been fun sitting here and chit chatting with you guys and yeah these I think maybe what I like the most about the wine diaries is that we kind of get to sit and talk and it's not like um you know I'm opening a box and showing this or showing that that it's it's just a conversation it's like we're sitting down together having a wine tasting thing that would be fun wouldn't that be fun yeah having snacks I'm missing having appetizers, but I was really in the mood for salad. But anyway, enough about my food. Um, thanks again for stopping in, spending time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, so we will all chat again soon. I hope you guys go out, have a great Easter weekend. This is probably not going to post till the Friday after Easter because I'm just kind of doing some things in advance. But Anyway, I love you guys so much and I appreciate you. Do we see each other again? Bye bye.